Hello guys, welcome to Coding Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to talk about how can you build a stock market app in Android Studio. You will learn today that how can you incorporate the stock API into your Android Studio program which extract live stock values. So launch the Android Studio, select the new project and uh, select empty view activity and click finish. So give a name to your activity, just write stock activity, whatever name you like. Then go to activity underscore main.xml and let's change first the UI. Let's design a beautiful UI. So I will change the constraint layout to a linear layout. So change it here and delete this text view. And the linear layout, we can provide a padding, Android padding equal to 15 dp. A nice and beautiful background color I'm gonna give. So write hash 0d to a50. Inside the linear layout, let's write edit text. Width is match parent. Height is wrap content. ID is symbol name. Hint is enter a stock symbol. So this is the place where we are gonna enter the stock symbol. And then we can define text color equal to color white. And also we can define margin top equal to 200 dp. Text size is 18 sp. And text color hint is 818181. Input type is text cap characters because symbols should be always by default in the capitals. That's the format. Below the edit text, we will define another linear layout. So width is wrap content, height is wrap content. And the orientation for this linear layout is horizontal. Inside the linear layout, we will define a text view. Width is match parent, height is wrap content, and ID is stock price text. Then we can define padding equal to 10 dp. And text of the text view is stock price colon gap. Text color is color white. Text size is 24 sp. And text style is bold. Just copy the text view and paste it and we are going to call it id stock price text view here we will update our stock name then below that we will design a card view so android x card view dot widget dot card view width is match parent height is wrap content background color of the card is hash 2d4a78 it's some kind of combination which i have selected you can select on your own but this will also look beautiful android elevation for the card is 5 dp now this whole linear layout, we are going to copy. The orientation is going to be vertical. The ID, we will change it to exchange text view. And the text on this, we are going to change to exchange colon. Below text view, call it company text view, because that will be the place where company name will come. And also change the text to company colon. So on the right side, you cannot see change uh, anything. So actually, we have to provide orientation in the main linear layout. Now you can see the, the beautiful UI is appearing. Now we will define a button to update the prices. So let's define app compat button. Width is going to be match parent. Height is going to be wrap content. And ID for this is going to be update button. Now text for the button is get latest price. Background for the button is chosen a color EE6C4D. Text color is color white. Now text all caps is equal to false. Text size is equal to 24 SP. Android layout margin equal to 20 SP. You can see the UI is, is appearing on the right side, everything. So we have stock price. We first enter the symbol and we click on this update stock price button and we will have a stock price for the first text. Then we also have the name of the exchange it belongs to and also the name of the company, the expanded name because what we are putting is abbreviation. So just like for Apple, it is AAPL. So that's the expansion for that. So we will get the expanded name of the company. So that's all the UI. And now we can go to mainactivity.java. So first thing, what we have to do is what we're gonna use is IEX API for stock which is a free api it gives you trial for one week then after that you can if you want to continue you you have to pay some service so this example i'm using that and i will show how to fetch the data from the ie stock x api to update these informations some dependencies has to be incorporated in android studio so now go to the project view go to build.gradle in the dependency section just write implementation com.android.volley.volley one point two point one and sync the project Now what we're going to do, we're going to click on IEX cloud and you can click on start a free trial and create account. You have to put email. 
give your name and fill the other information, select your role and uh, give a password. Click the agree button and create account. So you can see it, it asks for verifying the email address. So go back, you'll get an email from IEX and you have to click on that and your email is verified. Now in the API tokens, uh, you can see there is a publishable and there's a secret. So the publishable thing you're gonna use, this is the API which you can use. So copy that and keep it uh, in your clipboard. And now we're gonna define some variables in the uh, main activity. So we'll define text view, stock price text view, exchange text view, and company text. Edit text, then we define edit text, symbol. Then we define button, update button. We will need a string. So I will write a string, symbol a string. Then we will declare the API key here. So private static final string API key equal to the API key which you have copied, pasted under the quotes below that because we're gonna use an auto update system. So let's define a handler, private final handler, handler equal to new handler looper dot get main looper. Also there will be a timer for continuous update so that it, it can update with some frequency. So let's define private timer timer. Now what we'll do, we'll initialize all the text views. So stock price text view, find view by ID, r dot, id dot, stock price text view, that's the ID we have defined first. Then similarly, we copy everything and change the ID to exchange text view and also company text view. Now we'll initialize update button, update button equal to find view by ID, r dot, id dot, update button. Then we initialize symbol, find view by id r dot id dot symbol name now let's write the function what happens when we click on update button first so write update button dot set on click listener new view on click listener inside the on click method let's define a symbol string equal to symbol dot get text to strings so whatever symbol you write is received in this string if the symbol string is not empty we will call a function named fetch stock price Else we are going to show a toast message. Please enter a valid symbol. Now create this method in main activity. Fetch a stock price and define string symbol string equal to symbol dot get text dot to string. Now here is the most important part. You define the URL what you're gonna call. So a string API URL, just call it any name, equal to https colon slash slash cloud dot iex apis dot com slash table slash stock. Close the quotes plus symbol string, which will come in between our string. What we put plus slash quote question mark tokens equal to again closing the quotes and plus the API key, which we define. Now to fetch the specific data, we are going to use uh, JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and it's a format to, for interface between a web server and an application. In JSON format, everything is structured as a key pair value. So there's a key and there's a value for that. And that's how the whole stock API provides the data to the web application. So whatever specific information you need, you just ask for the key and you get data. So we have to create a JSON object request. I will write JSON object request, request equal to new JSON object request, request dot method dot get comma API URL comma null comma new response dot listener JSON object and you can see automatically it comes on response method. So we will write try inside the try we will write a string stock price equal to response dot get string inside the code latest price. That's the key in the IEX API for getting the latest price. Copy the string and name the second string exchange, third string company price. And the key for that is primary exchange and the company is company name. Now, since they are a string, we are going to convert this into a number system. Uh, I'm declaring a double stock price value equal to double dot parse double stock price. So I will convert this string stock price into a decimal number because I'm gonna compare it with whether it is a positive or negative. If I'm gonna use this stock price for some kind of calculation, it is the method to convert the string into math. Now we write update stock price, give the arguments stock price value comma exchange colon plus exchange comma company plus company. So that's a new function we will be creating, which will pass these three strings what we have got. So the first value is a double number. Second is a string. Third is also a string. Handle the errors. Catch JSON exception E. Inside that we will write E dot print stack trace and below that log dot E error 
comma error parsing json plus e dot get message we will also add some new response dot error listener and render the public void on error response volley error error if error dot network response is not null and error dot network response dot data is not null we declare a string response body equal to new string error dot network response data so we also log this so log dot e api error comma the tag is api error for the log and error response is the response body so we, we receive the error in the response body and we see what kind of detail error we can get the information about the error why we are not able to get the response outside the if method we will also say api error message error fetching stock price now it's time to declare another request queue request queue because now all this has to be requested in a form of request queue so we'll write request queue dot add request so as soon as you write add request the request is crawled and you get the data now inside the update stock price we will just change the name string exchange and first double stock price value second is string exchange and then string company and then copy this stock price so we will write double instantaneous change equal to current price minus previous price so we'll just change current price here also in the function uh, arguments now we go on the top and below the request queue we will define these variables double previous price equal to 0.0, .0. in the beginning of the program that will be the first value to start the app we can call it initial values now there is a correction in the instantaneous change spelling okay now the previous price is equal to current price so in every program call we will put our current price in the previous price and we will subtract the new updated price with the current price now we can run our handler because we need to update the stock price again and again so write handler dot post new runnable and then inside the run we will declare a string for method price is equal to string dot format percentage to f current price now stock price text view equal to set text formatted price so our text view is set as per the current price now we will create an integer int text color equal to instantaneous change if it is greater than or equal to 0, 0.00 question mark color dot green colon color dot red this is like one if else logic in one sentence if the instantaneous is greater than zero the color green is returned or otherwise color red is returned so the text color will contain the hex code of color green or the hex code of color red and then we're going to write a stock price text view dot set text color text color so text color will be changed then we write exchange text view dot set text exchange and then company text dot set text inside the company so all the text is uh, set here now what we can do we're going to add some cool animation so we just blink the stock values so i'm going to show you how to make a blink animation on this so write private void start blink animation inside that write final text view text view now we write object animator blink equal to object animator dot off float inside that off float method text view comma alpha 1f to 0f 1f the initial value so it's gonna the alpha is basically the intensity so it will from 0 to 1 the intensity so that that will give you a blink kind of feeling then blink set duration is 200 millisecond and then we say blink dot start so that's our blink function and we are going to use it whenever it is called the blink will start now inside the update stock price we're going to call this start blink animation stock price text view we'll also create a timer so that the fetching of the data is done as per the time so i will write timer equal to new timer symbol string equal to symbol dot get text dot to string timer dot schedule at fixed rate equal to new timer task and inside the run i will write if symbol string is not empty we will call fetch stock price before this a bracket we are going to write comma 0 0.2 into 1000 that's 1000 milliseconds so after every 2 second it's going to fetch the data now also generate some uh, override method after the activity is destroyed we are supposed to stop the timer otherwise it will cause some memory issues so that's why we have to destroy the timer so we call it uh, on destroy method it's an android system level code so if there is a timer existing timer is not null we call the function timer dot cancel and also timer dot purge so first we cancel the timer for the present task and we purge the timer if there is any scheduled task in the timer to show that everything is destroyed 
and no task will run which is if it is in the queue one important step we missed that is the initialize the update request so go up and in the initialization we should initialize the request queue equal to volley dot new request queue and inside the bracket write this semicolon so this is step initializes the request queue otherwise your request will not be processed and the program will crash now one very important thing go to android manifest and give some permissions so uses permissions android name equal to android permission dot internet because we are going to use internet time to run the project connect your mobile phone or a simulator and run the project you can see a nice beautiful app place for uh, stock symbol and text view so let's write a company name aapl and uh, once you write you can see the stock price start appearing in green because the instantaneous change it is detecting as uh, as a positive so it's green here and also if it goes negative if it if it reduces from the previous value you can see automatically the color changes the value get updated and you can also see the exchange name nasdaq because that's the exchange from which it is fetching also the company name it has fetched apple incorporated if you want more data as per your choice you can always do it by finding the right key how to find the right key value you can copy this entire string and it's basically a url and you open a web browser and you paste it there and you have to properly format this so you have to remove this quotes everywhere and the plus sign and here the api key will come so go to your app and copy this api key and paste it there and then you press the enter and you can see the response of that url is here so that's what we are using here but there is a lot of data and it's not properly arranged you can use a json formatter like this and once you update the url you can see the values so you can see company name exchange and all this thing all of the data which you can use in your app as much as you want if you want more information to show for your app for your user you can always select so that's it guys this is the method of using stock apis and making a cool stock market uh, tracking app i hope you learned something from this if you like my video please subscribe and uh, give a thumbs up thank you for watching